Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is a brand new video today talking about my loadouts and my settings. Um, it's been highly requested over and over, people ask me all the time what my settings are, what my loadouts are, so I thought I'd make one quick video, as per a comment suggestion on my last one. So that's what we're doing today, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, because I'm going to be honest, I just uh, came back from a long walk and I'm quite hungry, plus I want to you know, make, make your day as productive as possible and not take so much time, so I'm going to stop talking and get into it. First off... Um, DLQ, so I only have a few uh, specific go-tos. Obviously, I'm a main sniper, so this is my go-to DLQ setup. Very standard. Uh, you probably already know this one. And as for my perks, uh, I definitely run Iron Lungs, and I recommend you do too, because when you have Iron Lungs, it makes your shot steady for 6 seconds. Without it, it's about 1.5 seconds um, of steadiness. So big, big difference, quite helpful. Obviously toughness, obviously did silence. Um, and I recommend the MW, MW11. This is pretty fast firing pistol, the fastest firing rate. And it can two tap to the head up close, three tap from a decent close distance to like close medium distance, four tap medium to long range. So quite really, really good pistol. Um, and at four to five tap medium long range, depends how far you're talking about, just to clarify. Now, next thing I have the Banana Blaster, AKA the MAC-10 and uh, let me just focus here real quick. So this is my go-to setup as for now. Maybe it'll change in the future because uh, I'm switching things up as I learn more and I experiment. But this is what I got now. It's really good class. I recommend you try it out. And by the way, uh, my loadout here is, be, is for champs. So that's why I have what I have in terms of my perks and uh, whatever. Um, so my next go-to, this is my CBR4 as per the current meta. You got the mono, marksman, light stock, granulated, stippled foregrip. It's more of a heavier build and more of a medium range to long range build. Uh, but it's still quite good at all ranges. And I really recommend this one. I, I really love that. Really love that gun. And then Kilo, I don't really use this as much at the moment. But uh, I would switch this up if you want a suppressor. This is a really good class. Uh, it's quite fast. It has the range. It has... The ADS bullet spread, it's pretty good. If you want more accuracy, you can add like a, I see people with Ranger or Operator or whatever, but it's up to you. That's what I got. <clears throat> and that's mainly it. Those are my four go-tos. So Sniper, MAC-10 um, for like Summit, for example. CBR for most other maps. And then on occasion, I'll pull out the Kilo or the SKS. Now let's go to the settings as that's probably the main reason why most of you are here. I should have done this before, but uh, you know I apologize anyways. This is my HUD to start with. Uh oh. So this is my HUD. If you want, you can screenshot it. You can replicate it. It's a four finger HUD, but I have and I have a Red Magic 6S Pro. So if you have a different phone, it may be quite different. I would honestly, you know, if you want to use this as a template, you can use it as a template. But then customize it to your comfort. You know, adjust it how you need it so you're comfortable um, and it, and it feels good for you. That's the most important thing. Aside from that, let's go to basics. If you want, pause the video as I scroll down, because this way we can keep this video nice and sweet and short. Damage number, definitely have this. I, have, I see a lot of people without this ticked on. I, I suggest you tick it on. It just keeps uh, your damage count much more precise, and that's what you need to have an advantage. Always friends for me is 55. You know, that works well for me. Um, my FOV is 65. And then... These are my item markers if you want to copy it or try it out. <clears throat> you know, if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, then that's fine too. My map settings. This is quite important. I honestly recommend this because it gives you a wider range, uh, you know, point of view for your map. Which gives you more awareness and as a result, more information, which helps you become better prepared. It's a really important set, uh, setting here. So definitely do that. And then as for that graphic quality, I personally keep it on medium and then frame rate as ultra. Some people have it low, it's personal preference. And then <clears throat> as for the audio, I'm going to actually save that for a different video, probably my next video, um, because there's some things I want to show you and it's actually really, really key. If you have your wrong audio settings, you're going to be at a disadvantage for if you're versing somebody with the right audio settings. So that's that. And then as for the effects, I keep mine on tactical flare. I saw I see some people have like classic flare or like uh, like some wild effects like battlefield smoke. All that stuff, man, is a distraction. If you want to add some style to it, keep it nice and sweet. Like tactical flare, if when you're shooting a person, it shows like very minutely, 
but it still has a cool effect. Versus if you have this, or like the classic flare, bruh, this explosion thing is going to be blocking your like view to hit the opponent. It's going to be in the way. So I would put it on something smaller like tactical flare. And then as for the colors, it's up to you. Um, I would make sure to check these off. And then lastly, sensitivity. So I go on zero speed Excel. A lot of people ask me, hey, Adam, why are you on zero, zero speed Excel? Why do pros have zero speed Excel? Great question. Just to be uh, brief, it's the best of both worlds between thick speed and speed acceleration. So if you swipe consistently on your screen when you're at zero speed Excel, it's like thick speed. But if you do a fast swipe, it takes on the like likeness of you know speed acceleration. It moves extra quick. Uh, so hopefully that answers your question. If you're confused about anything, if you have further questions, ask me in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. Um, and then this is my current camera sensitivities. And then uh, again, you can pause the video if you'd like. Firing sensitivity is the same thing. I have my sniper scope sensitivity on zero, but honestly, I don't like from when I tested it zero to 130, I don't really see a difference. I'm not going to lie. So with the sniper, so I just have it as zero. And I don't use gyro. So if you're looking for gyro tips, do not ask this. Don't take mine. I, I, I don't use this stuff. Um, so that's it for this video. Pretty uh, straight to the point. Um, if you liked it, make sure you do drop a like, comment what you thought, give me some video ideas for the next ones. Subscribe if you have it and share with a brother, a friend, a sister, a mother. It don't matter. Share it. And uh, yeah, last thing, I have my social media in the description and I've started coaching. So if you're interested in being coached by me, do let me know. Comment down your Discord and I will reach out to you so we can get started. I'll give you the details and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. But hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.